Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. And we're going to be doing a couple things here. So, we're taking a break. And uh, you may be wondering why I'm in Winterhold. Or no, this is Windhelm. Yeah, Windhelm. You know how much I hate Windhelm, but here we are. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. Yeah, you're wicked. I know. But we have wanted to do uh, some mod changes. You know, after I restarted playing Skyrim and started the Skyrim Revisited series, I uh, got through two episodes and I kind of said, you know what, I, I'm just not happy with with the idea of revisiting it. I wanted to completely restart it and I decided to go ahead and do Skyrim Redone. Now, one of the side effects of Skyrim Redone is that it kind of wipes your previous save because the the skills trees are completely different. I mean, it changes a ton of things. You, you can go through the skill trees and you can see... Let's get up the skill trees here. Completely different. I mean, the... I mean, look at the heavy weaponry. Oh my gosh, look at all this... the places you can go with this. You know, I haven't even explored it all yet, and it's just amazing. You know, light weaponry, marksmanship, you can see it's changed a lot. They have all these different things, and, you know, that's part of it, is that it changed a lot of the skill trees, so as soon as I hit second level, it kind of messed that all up. So we had to start over. What else does Skyrim Redone do? Well, it changed the combat system. All of your uh, items, all your weapons and whatnot. I just picked up a couple things here. Let's just go through and look here. You know, damage 31 from a short bow. That was pretty good. 12 from iron arrows. You can see it's different. I mean, it's it's increased the amount of damage that it does. It also increases the amount of damage you can you take from these weapons. So it makes it a lot more dangerous. And it changes other things. It changes racial abilities. It changes the magic system. It changes the... Um, Sandy stones, which I decided not to change, and it changes leveling of, of enemies and even encounters. If you go into a dungeon that is above the level that you should be at, it you're going to get your butt kicked. I mean, Skyrim Vanilla basically, you know, kind of keeps it at the same level as you are, with a few changes, if it's a specific uh, type of encounter. But uh, in that aspect, it changes quite a bit. So that's mod number one. And that involved doing a couple things that, because I have immersive armors, version 7, and immersive weapons, I had to install a reprocker and use a, uh, a second reprocking tool that's a pre-procker, a pre-reprocker, so all the stats would match. That, uh, and you can refer to Gopher's video. I'll include the uh, all the links down below in the comments section for how to install this. I mean, it's pretty intense, and the whole idea is to get everything kind of on the same page. So everybody's working. All the mods are working together, and I think well, we finally got that done now. But we had to start over on our um, start. So what will happen is that I will play through and get basically the same gear as what I had um, when we last left in episode two. So what other mods have we installed? Quiet over there. Trying to do a video. Shut up. Well, number one. In addition to Skyrim Redone, we installed the the uncapper, and basically that increases your uh, amount of levels you can get, the amount of skills you can go over 100 on your skills trees, and that's kind of necessary when you be playing for a long time. 
So that's number one, and that's all included in uh, Gopher's video. He'll explain that to you. Number two, um, we added a clock. Let's just see, all right, clock, there it is. See, it's right up near the compass, and it's just a little sunlight thing. It shows the day and the time in reference to uh, night cycle, day cycle. That's kind of important when you're playing a frostfall and realistic needs and diseases is that you kind of know what your, um, if you freeze to death at night, it gets a lot colder at night. So you got to kind of know when you should be heading for fire or setting up camp. So you can turn that on and turn it off, on and off, just like that. And you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, you can actually see realistic needs and Frostfall working together to give me a message as far as uh, what my needs are. You can see them. Um, exposure is 20, so that's good. I'm getting nice and warm and not wet, and I'm a little hungry, a little thirsty, and and uh, slightly tired and sober. Okay, so there you go. So those are those things. Um, I also decided that... I needed a sidekick. I don't usually play with um, companions, but doing video, it really will improve the the interchange between myself and the companions. Give me something to talk about and kind of add a sidekick. And like all you know, good teams, you need to have you know someone to play back and forth on. Just look at uh, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, or. Bing Crosby and Bob Hope, or even Batman and his chum Robin, or even, let's say, well, Ren and Stimpy, probably in my case, Ren and Stimpy would be a probably good close, close comparison. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that. We'll run into him in Riften when we get back there, and we'll make that a quest to go get him. So we'll leave that as a surprise. Uh, I had Midas magic going. I deleted that. I felt it wasn't necessary for a sword and board player. So that's kind of the changes what we got going on. And um, but Skyrim redone changes things a lot. And I I even tried to craft something. I got myself a a chunk of iron ore, and it said I needed three of the damn things just to make one iron ingot. So that's just an example of some of the changes and it's a lot harder and especially like combat combat will kill you damn quick if you don't have a, your shield up and you start getting hit with heavy weapons so you know we'll we'll play through this we'll get through up to where we were when we left off in chapter two and we'll start with chapter three but for right now valdar hasn't changed much the only difference is that uh if you look closely, you probably haven't noticed this. That off. He's bald. The more I looked at the video with him with hair, the less I liked it. I just couldn't, didn't like him with hair. So we went ahead and balded him out. So you can see some purloined items that we'll use for getting home. So that's where we are. We'll pick this up in uh, Chapter 3 of Skyrim Revisited and the Tales of Valdar Ironhide. But for now, this is Cal with Dirty Weasel signing off. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age of oppression is now near the